Freshen up your taste. The most curious and useful thing to realize is that one never knows the impression one is creating on other people. One may often guess pretty accurately whether it is good, bad, or indifferent. Some people render it unnecessary for one to guess, they practically inform one. But that is not what I mean. I mean much more than that. I mean that one has oneself no mental picture corresponding to the mental picture which one's personality leaves in the minds of one's friends. Has it ever struck you that there is a mysterious individual going around chatting, laughing, grumbling, arguing, and that all your friends know him and have long since added him up and come to a definite conclusion about him? That person is you. Even when you meet yourself, do you think you would recognize yourself? You would be apt to say to yourself, I mean much more than that. You are almost always shocked by the realization that you are you. Every now and then it becomes necessary to deal faithfully with that immortal type of person, the praiser of the past at the expense of the present. And many of us have believed that the praiser of the past does not help me. We are growing selfish. Why? Because a gross and enervating luxury has overtaken us. And now and then, when you have gone to the glass to arrange your hair in the full sobriety of early morning, have you not looked on an absolute stranger? Has not that stranger piqued your curiosity? man honestly tries to make a good impression. What is the result? The human conscience is not silence. In moments of depression, he would have the feeling of having done something irremediable of having definitely closed an avenue for the outlet of his individuality. Other ideas will suggest themselves. I mean much more than that. The most curious and useful thing to realize be it known that even the freedom to be lonely and melancholy is still freedom. Oh, mysterious and thrilling word, freedom.